Welcome to morning prayer for Wednesday the 8th of June. It's an ember day, so we will be praying uh, for those uh, called to ordained ministry in the course of our time of prayer. Uh, my name's Arthur Copeman. I'm the Archdeacon of Newcastle and Rector of All Saints, a new church out at New Lambton in the city of Newcastle. And it's my privilege to lead you in this time of prayer. Let's pause in quiet before we commence. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. A song of God's grace from Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed, freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for today is Psalm 89, verses 1 to 18. Lord, I will sing forever of your loving kindnesses. My mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I have said of your loving kindness that it is built forever. You have established your faithfulness in the heavens. The Lord said, I've made a covenant with my chosen. I've sworn an oath to my servant, David. I will establish your line forever and build up your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and let your faithfulness be sung in the assembly of the holy ones. For who amidst the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Or who is like the Lord amongst the gods? A God to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible above all that are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is like you? Your power and your faithfulness are all about you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves surge, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies by your mighty arm. The heavens are yours and so also is the earth. You founded the world and all that's in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Mount Hermon shall sing of your name. Mighty is your arm, strong is your hand, and your right hand is lifted high. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Loving kindness and faithfulness attend your presence. Happy the people who know the triumphal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They rejoice all the day long because of your name. Because of your righteousness, they are exalted. For you are their glory and their strength, and our heads are uplifted by your favour. Our King belongs to the Lord, he that rules over us to the Holy One of Israel. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians, the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians chapter 8 commencing at verse 16. 
Thanks be to God who put in the heart of Titus the same concern I have for you. For Titus not only welcomed our appeal, but he's coming to you with much enthusiasm and on his own initiative. And we're sending along with him the brother who is praised by all the churches for his service to the gospel. What is more, he was chosen by the churches to accompany us as we carry the offering which we administer in order to honour the Lord himself and to show our eagerness to help. We want to avoid any criticism of the way we administer this liberal gift. For we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of man. In addition, we are sending with them our brother who has often proved to us, sorry, we're sending with them our brother who has often proved to us in many ways that he's zealous and now even more so because of his great confidence in you. As for Titus, he is my partner and fellow worker among you. As for your brothers, they are representatives of the churches and an honour to Christ. Therefore show these men the proof of your love and the reason for our pride in you, so that the churches can see it. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Te Deum Laudamus, we appraise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. O Lord, from whom alone all good things come, grant that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good and by your merciful guiding may perform them through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God, our shepherd, in every generation you call ministers of your word and sacraments. Equip them to preach the gospel, to care for your people, and to show forth the fruit of the Spirit in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. A prayer for reconciliation. Lord God, bring us together as one, reconciled with you and reconciled with each other. You made us in your likeness. You gave us your Son, Jesus Christ. He's given us forgiveness from sin. Lord God, bring us together in, as one, different in culture, but given new life in Jesus Christ. Together as your body, your church, your people. Lord God, bring us together as one, reconciled, healed, forgiven. Sharing you with others as you have called us to do. In Jesus Christ, let us be together as one. Amen. We think of the situation in Ukraine and pray. Almighty God, ruler of all, in whose kingdom peace and righteousness abound. 
We pray for those who are in conflict in Ukraine. Take away prejudice, cruelty and revenge. Grant that barriers which divide may crumble, suspicions disappear and hatred cease through Jesus Christ, our mediator. Amen. As we think of the new federal government, we pray for them. Spirit of justice and truth, grant to our federal government and to all who serve in public life, wisdom and skill, imagination and energy. Protect them from corruption and the temptation of self-serving. Help them to commit themselves to the common good of our society, that our la land may be a secure home for all its peoples. Through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. And Lord, we continue to remember the COVID pandemic and pray that you would bring that to an end and all who are working towards it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray today.